All right, go ahead. I'm not gonna expose your face. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hi guys. So I just had my last dose of my COVID vaccine. So I'm actually on the side still. And there you go. Okay. I've already waited for 15 minutes and then I'm actually gonna head home because I'm still working. So so yes, hello guys. I actually had my second dose of my COVID vaccine. So yeah, so I still did my injection on the same arm. So it was here. So there you go. It was bleeding earlier. It was also bleeding um, during my first time, but it wasn't too bad. So yeah, I've already waited for 15 minutes. So far, I'm not feeling anything. And then I've also created my first vlog regarding my first COVID vaccine experience. So also watch out for that. And then in this video, I'm gonna be updating you um, what I feel during my first 24 hours until my 20 uh, until my 48 hours since I have my COVID second dose of the COVID vaccine. So right now, guys. I'm actually going home because I'll be working at 4 o'clock. So I'll keep you posted with anything. And yes, yeah, thank you so much for watching. See ya. guys so this is an update of my dose two of my covid vaccine um so after the vaccine a few hours after that i was having a headache and then i was feeling nauseated i don't know if that's the effect of the vaccine i'm also having my period if uh, usually kasi pag, uh, if i have my period then ano po masakit yung ulo ko i'm having a headache but uh, I think this is the effect of the vaccine too because um, that's after four days of having my period. But right now, it's still my first day. Yesterday is my first day. Now it's the second day. Medyo, I'm not feeling well. My head is aching. I feel nauseated. It's different. Um, compared to my first dose, I was not having nose and throat congestion. And then I feel like feverish, but I don't have a fever. Pero, I was fighting over it. I decided to work out still. So, I'm literally on my elliptical right now. So, I'll be here for 15 to 30 minutes. Kung ano lang yung kaya ko. Yeah, so I'm, I'm fighting over it. Uh, I uh, actually look gross right now. Pero, I have started the, the elliptical one week ago so i need to continue this because hindi ako bibigay sa vaccine <laughs> effects of side effects of the vaccine i'm feeling great right now that i am exercising so hopefully this will continue so i'm just gonna do my elliptical and then i'm gonna update you on my vaccine throughout the day so hello guys this is elaine again and welcome back to my channel so this video Huli ko na to siyang na film kasi I was busy with everything with family life, personal life and work life. So this is in continuation with my COVID vaccine number 2. So yun nga guys, after about 4 hours of having the vaccine, uh actually for the first 24 hours and the first 24 hours I have been taking Tylenol every four hours because i was actually working after i took my vaccine so i can't afford to be you know to be weak at work and not productive so i have been taking tylenol so work and dito sa bahay so as i've said before 
I was taking the Tylenol every 4 hours for the past 48 hours. Kasi I was not feeling well and I was also having my period at that time. The whole 2 days guys, I, I am feeling uh, feverish. But I didn't have a fever. It's just that I, I was having a headache. And oh, someone's, someone wants to join. Yeah. And then I was having a headache. Tapos nasusuka ako for... Uh, for two days, guys, I don't know if that's the effect of the vaccine or, um, what's this? Or dahil sa period ko, kasi, wait, <laughs> na-exposed tayo. Kasi, when I was having, when I am having my period, sometimes, I get so vomit, uh, I feel uh, vomiting, uh, I feel nauseated, I didn't vomit, but, you know, that feeling na nasusuka ka lang. So, yun. Um, for me, I was sicker this time for my COVID vaccine too. But then, good thing guys, hindi ako, um, I wasn't actually at home. Kasi pag nasa bahay ako, then I wouldn't be taking so much Tylenol. No, hindi, hindi ko ini every 4 hours. Kasi nasa bahay lang ako. And then, I can cure myself by rest and drinking water. And also with food and sleep. So, kaya lang, nasa work ako. So, I, I really have to take Tylenol. So, I was feeling bad. But then, I was feeling better because I was distracted with work. Work is so busy. So, hindi ko na naisip na may sakit ako. But, every time I get on break, and usually it's time for me to drink the Tylenol. So, I drink it. And then, whenever I get home... I do do so kasi nga I was working and then after 48 hours just like my COVID vaccine number one it was a success I feel great and feeling better um, no side effects whatsoever after 48 hours I feel amazing I didn't have the congestion during this time um, which I felt in my first COVID vaccine and then now um, actually fin fin ko to siya ngayon. it's like my second dose of COVID vaccine was March 30 ngayon that's after a month na pala guys ngayon is April 25 no not a month but almost a month April 25 ngayon um, para ma-review ko din sa inyo yung effects ng vaccine sa akin um Ever since I got my flu shot here in Canada and ever since I had my flu vaccine, I mean my COVID vaccine, hindi ako nagkasakit guys. Never, never ako nagkasakit and I'm feeling better now. Pag, uh, during my first vaccine, probably, hoy, 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 probably the vaccine is still on effect on my body during the first one. So, but I'm, I'm exposed to cold. I get, you know, nose and throat congestion. But ngayon, after my, I finish my two doses, I don't feel that way. I feel normal. I feel shielded. I feel protected. So my advice is, if it's avail available na sa lugar nyo to take the COVID vaccine, first one and two doses, first 48 hours wouldn't be that good but after that like right now i feel very very healthy of course um as i've shared in my video i take care of myself tremendously hindi ko siya pinapabayaan talaga sumusobra pa din ako sa tulog every day because that's how my body recuperate i get healed and i get better by doing that so, yun, kailangan, even if we still have the vaccine, uh, we still need to take care of our bodies because um, it's in the Bible, guys. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and we must treat it as such. So, we don't really own our body, guys. Pinahiram lang to sa atin ng, ni God. So, we must take care of it. Kasi we're, we are just borrowing it. That's why we must glorify God through our body. 
Right? Right, sweetheart? Right? Right? Say hi to them. Huh? And uh, my baby too had a flu vaccine. She is very, very well. Nagkasakit lang siya for one day. After we exposed her to, to the cold weather. But after that, she's okay. Because I take care of her too so well. And thanks to God, hindi pa naman siya nakaka, nagkakasakit. And thanks to God, she wasn't able to, to try the COVID swab. Natry ko yun twice a work, guys. And it wasn't a good feeling. It was awful, you know. Something is inside the nostrils going to the sinuses. And it, it doesn't feel good. So, I don't want her to experience that. That's why I'm taking of her so tremendously because i don't want her to get sick it's so it's very uh it's a horrible thing to see children in the hospital because i used to work in a you know uh what's this in a children's ward way back in the philippines and i give medication to children and they look so kawawa so i don't want to happen to her so yeah that would be the uh, the my covid vaccine journey and I, I hope this video finds you well and take care of yourself get yourself vaccinated and hopefully mawala na ang virus let's help let's pray and cooperate okay take care see ya